Volunteers, I have, um, so Dave Janko, I thought was going to be here tonight, but I don't think he is, but he was the one volunteer that came forward. So, um, contact us yeah. for details or anything? Yeah, otherwise I haven't had any volunteers come forward, but I'm going to try to this time again, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. uh, just a minute. So, one volunteer, and what was his name? Dave Janko. She's willing to come in and talk to all of us if we want her to, to do that. And um, I don't know if we want to have um, the principal meet because the the critical piece, and this is what you know, I have underlined right here in my notes from our meeting with her, is that there is a school relationship that is totally like the principal and the school is totally on board building and trusting those individuals so how it works with them and they have three full-time people now um, those three time full people full-time people have access to the school building they have their fobs and they set up their programs and they are in and out um, really it sounds like whenever they still have to fill out form, you know, still be like, you know, this is when we need it and this is when we're going to use it. But it's like, it's, 
they had full access to the building. Well, they're just because they're employees, full-time employees. Uh, I don't know, but they're not mm -hmm. school employees. No, so. but they're full-time employees. Yeah. But um, how did they get their funding? Did she tell you that? Um, yeah, and I found that fascinating. So we have we have something. She she is paid for by the town. Her salary is by the town. Um, the two assistants, though, are kind of one of the assistants is paid. Their salary is paid for through their programming, so they're they're making money. Mm -hmm. um, but the second guy, and I wrote it. Let me try to think where I wrote it down. They are funded by an. I don't know. It's full, so that's when we need her here. There's a grant through York Hospital that funds staffing. For, so one of her full-time people gets a lot of his salary based through a grant through York Hospital. I don't, she's, but she said that there are a lot out there. Yes, I think she actually said that Wentworth Douglas had that. Yeah. Um, they actually pay a rental, an office rental, um, which I found kind of fascinating, but they, what, they, what happened was they took an old classroom, so clearly something that's not really available at our, yes. <laughs> Your hand is fantastic, by the way. I know. So, right, there's, there's a space problem. So, but, so they've got an old classroom that they renovated, there was a bathroom in there, or they put a bathroom in there, but they do pay a rental fee. She said it was twenty-seven fifty or something for the year. But that includes like that kind of. They feel like it kind of covers their heat and electricity, and then they do get the um, maintenance service that come in and clean their bathroom and clean the office. So, so it's kind of this. Um, and it's at the school. It's, at the school. it's at the school, and they have their own separate. So it's kind of really nice. Like they have their own separate locked door too. Mm -hmm. So. Like, like when I went to go visit them, I didn't have to go in through the main office of the school and disturb anything. Like I went right to their side door. They had an outdoor uh, yeah. door. Yeah, yeah. So that was kind of a nice, a nice thing. Um, she talked about this also, um, capital improvement. They own vans. Um, did tell me she, they have a four hundred and sixty thousand dollar budget. <laughs> through that way. Um, so what, yeah. What did they make the money on? I just um, like um, events or, or it's just they run a ton of <coughs> programs. And then so then the other thing was they have a fourth key, which I was kind of like, you know, that um, so whoever they hire to run, so say like like say with our basketball program mm -hmm. now, like we, like I would give the fourth key to like our basketball coach Ryan and when the program was over he would give the key back to me mm -hmm. and then we would use it for the next you know how many uh, she, residents did, she, she did say um, I did have a thing one more Douglas partnership grant so see ya. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how many residents in that town do we know I think it's like six or seven thousand it, it, it's yeah. you know, it's bigger than us But she told me, I asked her what she thought. She said a part-time rec director, like if we wanted to hire one, she thought $22 an hour was a reasonable salary. Wait, do you mean rec director as in um, oversee everything that we do, including the camp? Is that what you meant? Yes. Like so a, the like director a, would be at the camp? Um, so no. Like, like a town? Yes. Oh. Like starting a town rec director part-time that would oversee those summer programming. Yeah. Yeah. That that she said that she thought twenty. So she 
can't go salary with me on that. She said to start out, that might be something you would I, want to. I would be interested to talk to her because, um, they're, well, clearly they're making a lot of money. They've got a big budget based mm -hmm. on even, so their triple R numbers are presidential numbers. But I wonder how much of that is um, non-resident, like how much of her, whatever fees or whatever she's doing is non-resident based versus resident based. I wonder if they have the advantage. I mean, so maybe we, I told her that we generally have our meetings on Tuesday, and she was all like, yes, she was all ready to come today. And I said, well, hold on, let me see, because well, let me see if we want to have you here first, and then ask, you know, like, um, Rich Hartford to come in, or, you know, I didn't know how we wanted to play it. But. Let me explain the, the situation with the grade school. Yeah. What happened was. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Maybe not campus. Um, where you had to, you know, fill out a form, a huge form, having garden fees, and they're the ones that really were dictating to the board. That, and I believe I was on there at the time that we had to start doing it. So the responsibility of the maintaining our building, we had to make sure that we knew who was going to be there, and that's to make it. You have to start hiring someone to come and do it. It was all generated from the SAU. I think it was either Karen Phil or could have even been Jenny. I'm not sure. Um, but it wasn't really in the school itself as much as it was SAU dictating to the school that that's what needed to happen. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if they had experience with damage. I'm not, I, I don't know. know. No, I know there was some issues from way back when half the town had keys to the building. Yeah. yeah. And um, concern came when. Um, husband said, a senior came to me and said, you can go play in your gym because his dad has a key. Mm -hmm. And she was, she had no idea. It was like her first or second year there. Yeah. And she had no idea. Yeah. And that scared her. That's mm -hmm. when she changed the key. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I know, I don't know much about Homeland Security, but I know that a lot of it has come from that stuff too. Mm -hmm. um, and Rich is very much building security, very much. That is like one of his top things. Like, Janie can't even get deliveries. They have to come to the, to the office. Do you have a sense that um, there may be an issue this year with the parents being there this summer? I haven't heard that. On the I have not heard that. Okay, because that was one of the things I was thinking about. Mm -hmm. Well, not that I know. I'm yes, just saying, yeah. I can't imagine if it would have an issue, but he's mm -hmm. new. But right. there's always staff there in the summer. Right. So it's really it's really key about having a staff person there or someone who is an employee of the that. school district. He did tell us last year, because I worked the summer program, that um, we had to meet kids at the door to let them in because the doors a couple doors open in the summer that you know custodial staff is yeah. coming into. And I know he did not want the doors to move the thing open. Mm -hmm. And we were like, we can't stop and get kids mm -hmm. because you know, we don't build it. They're not going to pay us extra to have extra five minutes every hour. Mm -hmm. You know, so we have, you know, one kid leaves at 10, the next kid comes at 10. Mm -hmm. right. And he understood that, but said there might, he might need to change something next year. Maybe, or well, maybe you also had an employee, too, who was the camp director. Right, right. So she had her keys. Exactly. And so that was an asset to, yes. to, um, to help assist with what he was requesting. Like to when Sue was there. Yeah. yeah. She was always. Yeah. Right. And I'm, I'm just thinking as a side note, maybe it'd be worth it for us to go in and have this conversation with them early on. Even mm -hmm. maybe it's too late here. Yeah, well, maybe maybe the yeah. next couple of months to yeah, see. yeah, because you want to make sure that um, you don't have any surprises come June. You know that we've always. Mm -hmm. I know that you're not planning any major projects. I know that. Um, That's true. I think I, floor, gym floor, but maybe. Um, I think it might want to resurface that again. Yeah, I think it's a resurface of the and, gym floor. Um, I think there's tiling and stuff, but that's main building. Annex has already been done. Yeah, so <coughs> that's what. Um, so, I mean, you're not going to have to worry about roofing and all of that this year. Mm -hmm. so. 
So Lori, you're our sort of school connection alive. Um, would you be willing to have oh, a sure. conversation with us? Absolutely. I think we, we really just want to talk, we want to know about what you're thinking in terms of the building security um, in the summertime. Um, we'd also like to know what rooms are available to us. Yeah, that's Projects. the tricky part, because yeah. all the rooms have smart doors in them. And that was a concern, because one year, I don't know that it was Rex, but there was one summer that one of the smart doors opened. Um, can those be covered? I don't know. Oh, that's so big, I don't know if they're covered and they're, Oh, the big, big ones. Yeah, yeah. Like that. Like, yeah. yeah. They're just delicate, mm -hmm. okay. you know, like mm -hmm. somebody bumps into them. But I, I mean, I will ask. Right, you can let them know that traditionally we have five rooms. The um, classroom and the gym. Yeah, and all that sense. stuff is in here. And the kitchen. Kitchen room is always up in there. Yeah. Downstairs kitchen? No. 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 Yeah. Teacher's room? Yeah. 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 I think that that would be great. Yeah. So I don't know. I have something underlined here, and I honestly can't remember what it is. It says traditional enterprise account. Does anybody know what that is? <laughs> and that's when you're enterprise, they just think about cars. <laughs> well, <laughs> traditional enterprise account. And she mentioned and it, that it's kind of along the capital improvement and that they have a van, so I don't know if that has to do with a car or what, but yeah. It's kind of like, I don't know. Buying one on, like we all do. On no. So they have one assistant that runs their youth seniors, their youth program, their senior program, and then their junior high summer camp. And they have their other assistant that does the um, kids play summer, which goes on field trips. So I don't know what else they do. And then, so they're in the school as well in the summer. Yeah, all those all other activities. They, they only have, have the cafeteria. Yeah. She said that's kind of a that's kind of a pain. They, they only have the cap the cafeteria. But you know they run programming. Like if you look on their site, um, they run programs through like Marshwood Middle School gym, Marshwood High School. Through so I mean, it's not just they have you know easy access to the Elliot or to the Elliot gym, mm -hmm. but they have you know other schools. So one does youth, seniors. Yeah, uh, and junior junior high. Too. One does administrative stuff, and then the kids play. Um, and then the cap, cafeteria, she said that was kind of a pain. And I know there's staffing and the grants and adult, adult leagues. They have a couple of adult leagues going, mm -hmm. but they have something going on on the, they, on the Saturday or Sunday, that person who has so she said they try to stagger it so that one of them is there, mm -hmm. but they're like on the weekends, you know, they'll just give the fourth key to whoever's running the mm -hmm. weekend programming. And yeah, if there's any problem, then you get in touch with one of them. Mm -hmm. So. Sorry, we're going to put in pictures. Yeah. I'd love to talk to her. Yeah. So, so I can definitely reach out to, like, I see her here two more times this week with basketball so <laughs> um so we could have her come to our next meeting would that be good with everybody i can ask her to do that mm -hmm. and then um i think we should have a discussion with her first and then go with contractors i mean he lives far away doesn't he north of us i thought it was i thought it was further than that for some <laughs> reason that's all that bad then but i could pick The size of the one that got um, in the email. The email. Two ice rinks. Yeah. yeah. Two yeah. ice rinks. Two ice rinks. <laughs> Two ice rinks. But yeah, the first survey I picked up opportunities for for seniors to volunteer at RITS. Oh. Like helping them read and write, etc. That's kind of cool. That's a good idea. So, and there is volunteer opportunities and there is activities involving young and older people um, and then local schools and involved. Yeah, so I want to get from him. So we're talking about rich stuff. Oh my God, do you know what my father said to me? So I said, Dad, did you get one of these? Right? And he goes, Yeah. And on it says, Please circle. 
this with me. So I think that's about, um, she talked about UNH interns that they, and I was like, yeah, we, we kind of know about that. Does she do that? Um, they have used them in the past. Okay. They have, yeah. Were they subsidized? Um, yes. Um, she told me about this coyote club that they do over there, which is supposed to be awesome. I've Outdoors, heard that, yeah. somebody, yeah, they go long walks outside, even in the snow, a couple days a week. Oh, they were have somebody running that. My kids did it at Comic Peace Learning over there, and uh, they blew out more drinks. I actually loved it. Yeah. It was outdoorsy mm -hmm. thing. It was a non motion, but it was good. Yeah. Um, all right, so that's my scoop. Let's see on these checklists. I got the first aid kits and the ice packs. Mm -hmm. And uh, yes, this is the answer to this is yes, she will consult with us. <laughs> um, there, is, there is a basketball team, mm -hmm. um, a quite large basketball team, actually. <laughs> There's 14 kids. Oh, wow. Wow. We've combined fourth, fifth, and sixth graders because there wasn't quite enough well and I didn't have the energy to have two teams. So um, so we did fourth, fifth, and sixth, and now there's fourteen kids. So is this boys, boys, girls, girls, girls or boys. Or boys. Just oh. boys. Yeah, and I have I I I have collected the money. I haven't submitted it yet, but everybody has submitted their so what did you land on for that? Twenty-five dollars. <laughs> um, so yeah, nobody nobody balked at it anyway. So Can you let me know because I'll need to put that on our income line. No, it is twenty-five. So I, I have the what is that? Three hundred fifty dollars, I think. Is that right? And that's going to be to be a tournament entry. Um, is that what that's for? Look at that's for paying refs mm -hmm. um, for our home games, and um, yes, for um, any more tournament play. Because you already paid for some. We paid for one. Okay. Yeah. So it's a little bit less. So it's three. Yeah, three hundred fifty dollars income. <coughs> and right now we have I have four home games scheduled, which will probably just be. Did. So it's really, and I think we paid our refs last year thirty dollars. I asked the ref that I hired if, if um, I could just say, what is the fee this year? You know, and they haven't gotten back to me yet. But I think we paid them thirty dollars per game last year. So even then, so it's that one hundred and twenty out. Um, just as a reminder, I think you end up paying that money in something though. Uh -huh. I don't know if it's when you copy these down for certain emails or something. Well, I hand her the money. So she has to pay the rest? Um, yes. Okay. That's how that had worked last year. Yeah. Does she go with you as a ref? Or is it just? No, no, no. Okay. It's not enough to do it for me. Right, so it goes. Um, but I, I do some kind of a. Like work fill out some paper? Well, I, I would can't just remember from fill last out year. A, um, to create like your own receipt type thing that, that, you, that you can submit to her so she has a file and just sign it. Okay. Okay. It's not enough money for somebody to do a real PO. I think last year she asked me, like it was almost like, can you give me their name and their address so that I think she even mailed the check. That yeah. would be fine. Yeah. Because yeah. this is just going to be. Yeah. Yeah. And then if, if you have um, any expenses out, then you would need to give her a, a receipt for right. payment of whatever it is. Right. Like, well, she what, did you order the rest of the same kits? I thought it was she. I ordered that. And then she ran into it. Yep. Okay. Yep. And that's all okay. taken care of. That went in the last, last year. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. But so did the one tournament, the Frosty tournament. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Anything else on my list? Oh, so I contacted, I think Katie is going in a new direction. She's talking about going to school this summer. And I just reached out to that other woman um, who works in Rochester, who is a triathlete. And um, she thinks she's going to be working in Rochester again over the summer. So I said, do you know of anybody? So we're still, she said one of her paras at the school sounded interested. So I said, okay, after you talk to her, let me know, you know, what. So we're kind of, like, I don't know, I might come up with some other people in my head, but um, we're kind I think, of back to square one on, on hiring. But I do think that we should sooner or later uh, talk to UNH. Do we know if 
Thank you. Thank you. Well, and I think what we talked about was the in need too, right? Is that what we need? So what we need to do is is complete our job description failure. Sorry. Yeah. Um, but check with Caroline because there's a free indeed, and then there's a very expensive indeed. <laughs> right. So let's check with Caroline because I know there's something we did not get. Okay. Um, but yeah, you certainly can do that too. But it's make also sure job board, job boards we can search on too. Mm -hmm. That's a, I mean, <laughs> teachers who are looking for <coughs> summer work, you know. What about the um, kid teachers? Do we know anything yes, about Yes, two them? little kids. Oh, okay. And are they kid age? Yeah. <laughs> no, one is like <laughs> two or three, and the other one's even younger. The other one's less than a year old. Okay. And his wife is a nurse at the hospital, so she's diagnosed with breast cancer. Okay. So he doesn't have work for a reason of time. So. Mm. Yeah. What can we do to help you with all this? I just was extremely uh, right out during the last couple of months. So I will I now I mean. settle down a little bit and I will I'll take the role. Okay. I'll have it hopefully by the next meeting. Now we're doing director and assistant, right? Yes. Just do it with those two can only do. It. Yes. Oh yeah. yeah. My apologies though, it's just two it's just two lines. Oh, yeah. I'm not sure what we're looking for. I've already talked to Mark. Did okay. I tell you that? I don't I know, know if I did. You did. Yeah, Mark said he's on I'm board, sorry. but I, he can't commit to anything until we know what, when, where, you know, how. Um, <laughs> but he's committed to doing it, for sure. Okay. That's good. Um, That's good. So if we, if we, maybe if we gave him a month to aim for, right. um, I would say we just need to do it as soon as we get someone hired and not wait until the week, the two weeks before the, you know, the summer. Well, the problem with that is once generally all the counselors that we hire, mm -hmm. that only happens like a lot of those are college age kids mm -hmm. are just coming home. So May is usually the earliest that they're home. So like maybe the end of May could be a yeah, yeah. projected, you know, well, time frame. Even first of June, you still have a couple of weeks before right. by then. So um, that's what I would probably let me Yeah, why don't you yeah, tell them that, like kind of end of May, first of first week of June would be ideally what we mm -hmm. When does um, school at a Hummock calendar would be? Well, before Hummock school yeah. starts. Yeah, we haven't had any yet, Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> Fingers crossed. Yeah. It's coming on Sunday. The 14th is Don't the, tell me that. It's supposed to be back <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't That's plan on traveling yeah. anywhere on okay. Sundays, Ilya. I, one of the weathermen this morning used a word, and I wish I could remember it, but he was so funny. It was like, you're going to get slammed. If you're on the this side of the green snow line, just just be buried. Or I don't know what he said, but I laughed. <laughs> so are we getting snow this weekend? Oh, like, Saturday. like a foot and a half, maybe, possibly. Mm -hmm. Yes, Sunday. It's going to snow all day Sunday. Yeah. I was going to go out of town Friday and come back. Speaking of trying to get the timelines down. So the last day of school is 
right now, the 14th, do we, we usually skip a week, so we'll start the 24th, right? Let me look at the June calendar here. So it'll be right here. Oh, okay. Yeah, because we, we leave, I think, that week open in case of snow days, right? Yep. So, so we'll do that, and if that's the case, then so we should get... So camp start on the 24th is, is what we're looking for, right? Right. If we're looking at CPR then, um, you said he needs a month notice. No, no, I said we could give him, you know, we should aim to give him a time period, and then he can arrange with people, you know, who is, whoever's going to do it, and we're going to know. So I'd say I would do it a month before we need it, so then we're not rushing towards the end is what, what I was going to say. Okay. You know, if we if we don't, if we can, if if not, if it can be closer. I mean, it's just that pending if it has to be a weekend or if it has to be during the week or whatever. I you think know. we've been doing Saturdays. I mean, is it Saturday? The orientation ends. I think so. Is he here? Yeah. I think maybe it was Friday or Saturday. Or so if we look at this, how about maybe the first? We could shoot for that. And if we have any, hire, if we have have any right, high school kids, too, that they could do a Saturday. Oh, you mean right. ones that, that you hire? Right, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And if they can't make it, are they getting it on their own? Or if they already have it? I would say, yeah, if you can't make it. You know, it. they also can maybe make an arrangement for a Monday night to go to the fire station and have someone give them training, you know, um, if they don't have the stuff there, you know, I think they do. Because um, they're always there on Monday nights. So, my personal feeling is if you can't make it, then you're on your own. Yeah. Well, the first would be you can't start until you have it. Right. Too. Right. Yeah. Is, is, that, is that a requirement for you guys to have it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Everyone to have it? Not just your director? Yes. Yeah. 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 We did. When we started two years ago, though, we didn't, there was a, a confusion that, so how it worked out was half our staff had CPR and the other half had first aid, so we kind of made that Is concession. That right. And then we, we switched it last year. So everybody should be, so like it runs two years. Mm -hmm. So whoever did CPR could use it as a If they're year. back or a third year, then they then only need one. We'll shoot for June first. I hope so. Can we yeah. make can not make June first? And they can organize Monday night fire station. I'll clear that with mine, but yes, I would say that that would be it. I put Sunday sense. nights can be arranged for what we need. Yep. Um, so the next one was Kathy, so she can't be here. What I can do is um, dig up the old UNH contact that I have that you and I were both. who was preparation management major over there. And she was telling me that there's a website that if you're if you're a part of this recreation management, I don't know if it's like like a club or you know what it is for for but you can post things on that. I know she posted for us last time. So if we can get that job description, I can send it to her and she would post it for us on this recreation management. Exclusive <laughs> website. I don't know what it is. I'm sure it's a job, you know, job listing for just rec management people. Mm -hmm. Lisa Bowles or <laughs> so job boards at UNH, something like that, but only for rec management people. Yeah. Oh, maybe that's <laughs> it. Maybe that's just it. Yeah. Okay. Celia, how's the senior mailings going? So senior mailings went out this week. They were all printed. We ended up using um, 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 D and B printing out of Summersworth instead of Staples, and they put them on nice bright green paper that was good. instead of on white. 
This is what we've gotten back plus the two emails. Um, I have not gone through them because they just started coming in yesterday. Mm -hmm. They didn't go out until Friday. So this is interesting. So this person is not an AU in the household age over 65. No, but they and, filled it out. And yes, <laughs> that's awesome. Um, there was one person that is over 65 who is still working, and that would prohibit them from coming. Um, and then I think the two that came via email, it didn't say whether they were over 65 or not, but they said, well, at least one of them was really, I want to see the ice rink for the kids. I want to see that. I have not responded back to them. Well, um, and be that, careful what you say, too, about the fire department, because right. it's not their job to do it. Right. It's always a volunteer fight thing. And you kind of slam the fire department for not doing it, but, you know, each year. But it's uh, it's not their job to do it. It's not that they weren't willing to flood, because they are. But they also we also know why we stopped, and we stopped because the line got damaged and destroyed. Right. So you know, it's not that we don't want to do it, but we should reply back to them. Are you willing to volunteer and step up and flood and snow blow and all of those? Well, it's just, so it's a yeah. multi job responsibility for this. So that's what. You know, after I read, so did any? No, but none of us responded. I did. Right? So, so no. I, what, I, I had a thought in my head that that one of us should respond to things like that. Mm -hmm. Like that should be, and and we should have some sort of, you know, uh, agreed upon response Amen. wording Amen. to it because my my first inclination of course was <laughs> <laughs> so so you're ready to do this for us then for well, that's we what we need yeah. right yeah. so you are willing so so how can we project that in a way that doesn't my, sound <laughs> my thought was was thank you for your interest in the ice rink unfortunately there was damage done to the liner we are in the process of looking for assistance um, we're in the process of trying to replace it so we can rebuild the rink. But we also need assistance because we are a small group of people that run this committee and we cannot do everything. So would you like to step forward and help us with the rink? The problem is that uh, you can't even get your phone cords up anymore because the ground's broken, right? Mm -hmm. I, you know, I mean, I that is something that you have to do in the fall. I don't you? know anything about that rink. Yeah. Kathy does. Kathy. <laughs> Kathy. <laughs> Kathy. Yeah. 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 But I mean, it, it, and Sean and Gary, you said, Oh, I know. They were and awesome. The, you know, making sure that they kept it off, even if it's a dust thing, they were doing it all the time. Right. It's not a simple job. No. You know. And that's, I mean, and that kind of. Right. You know, it, and that should be like we want. Right. right. As a town member volunteer who, you know, or something like that, mm -hmm. a personal volunteer. Stress for all. It's all volunteer based. Mm -hmm. It is. Yeah. It's right. a big job for a human. Yeah, yeah, but, but she is. I don't think it's an issue at all, yeah. you know, but. No, just, it's me. It's definitely maintaining it. And mm -hmm. um, yeah, and every time it snows, do you want to come down and it's shovel it? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I don't have time for that. <laughs> and I think it's pretty much why it just got stopped. Well, mm -hmm. it has been damaged, but you know, it's like you know, we're over there by your hotel. I mean, now we got to shut them out. Yeah. Get Marsh with high school, it gets so many hours. No, I mean, that's true. I mean, high school kids can go over there and they can show two or three kids and set it up in half an hour. <laughs> you know? I, think that's, I mean, the biggest, so, okay, so, so let me just ask a stupid question because I really don't know anything about it. Do we really need a liner? Is a liner absolutely necessary? I don't think that you, I think they did it before for years without one. Right. But it doesn't, I think it doesn't last as long. Oh. The ice, if you have some warm weather, I don't think. But at least the liner will maintain the water and it will refreeze itself if you have right. some nothing. That's my assumption. Right. Um, but because I think for years they did it without it. Right. But I mean, there isn't that kind of money, like $1,000. It, it's well, outrageously it expensive. Yes. There's no money for that. Right. And if, and if, we, and if we lose it, if it only lasts one year. Yeah. I'm saying that. <laughs> Well, it has to be stored. Well, that, that was the problem, I think, for the last time, was it, it was 
pulled up and put somewhere. And it was put behind the fire station. And then an animal got into it. And, and, and that one that yeah. got cut up? It yeah. wasn't from the blaze of the I, I don't think so. I think it was well, like the fire station. I mean, that's I think the yeah. bottom of the body. Right. So, yeah, I mean, there definitely needs to be a plan before we put a thousand dollars into it again to make sure that something is right. going to be handled correctly. Speaking of stuff behind <coughs> Again? Another yeah. one? Yes. Mm -hmm. and, and two, my cubs, right? Oh, cubs, right? Uh, uh, sure. And they were um, cubs, uh, getting cubs squirrels and eating them. <gasps> and there's some well, there's there's quite quite something that there was a, <laughs> they attacked the fawns. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, that's what I think. That's right. I know. Oh, no. So <laughs> it was brought up in the past, yeah. I think before you were involved, that's not too so long now, about the um, transfer station and whether or not. Not the transfer station, the highway oh, yeah. department. If they have any room at the highway department where we could store the lion, the inside versus outside. I don't see why they couldn't, but I will ask the question. At the highway department? We can put it on the second floor here in the town hall. Oh. <laughs> oh. Even, if we, even if we can do that, do we have enough money to buy a liner? Well, no, but it's a plan. But, yeah. We don't mind fundraising or something for a liner right. if we can get it stored properly. Right. It probably would go with a box to put it in. I have no idea. Oh, I'm sure they had like a pool liner. Yeah, because really I remember, heavy. do you remember when they lined the gym floor every time there was yes. a meeting? Yeah. That thing weighed a ton. Well, because it was packed. And it was in six sections too, wasn't it? Like I two think pieces? so. And it was, oh. so I can't imagine what. Well, it, when we have a pool, I mean, it, it, it's a good sized pool, so you roll it all up. There's no way you can take that up yourself. You know, because it is a heavy gauge. Um, and like you said, we can't throw the fire department under the bus because they're the ones that rolled it up and put it behind their shed when yeah. we didn't have anybody to do it. George, um, okay. George D. You you write very well. Do you like to respond to? Um, <laughs> do you want to respond or do you want to do since it came from the senior mailing? <laughs> I can write the email and you can edit it. Perfect. How's that sound? Where's Dan when you need him? Stick short, short. Yeah. Please, please. Be short and sweet. You know, this yeah. this long. I think I, just a couple of good points. This is volunteerism. Yeah. And the liner. And, uh, and, and, yeah. Funding. And funding. <laughs> please feel free to volunteer. Uh-huh. Whether it be fundraising or... Kind of See, it's hard to going to do it now just because I want what's to there is going to be so hard to get up. I mean, this is so far in advance anyway, but I wonder if, like, somebody, like, rolled it up or whatever, if the town, the highway department would pick it up. <coughs> it's so heavy. Oh, I don't think that would be a problem. I, I, I have to ask that question. I, that's what I'm saying. You know, like, and, <coughs> one. Yeah. but, you yeah. know, should it come about, would they? If we, I mean, two or three guys probably would pick it up. I mean, but. Yeah, we have some type of trailer that we could put it on to move it. Like flatbed. Yeah, yeah, it just yeah. might be easier for them even to get it into their, mm -hmm. no, I don't know. I, I don't know how that could work. But. They're, they're always willing to step up and help out whenever they can, so we'll see if that can happen in the next couple of days. Maybe we can make it a goal to investigate how much new liner would be in that. Where's Kathy? Let's put that in her assignment box. <laughs> Driving up, they're going to to the Arizona, 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 and then they're driving up the coast to. I mean, he said in Florida or something or whatever. Maybe. That that I don't know. Yeah, about. but I don't. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Um, so, see you, Mailing. Are we all set with the see you, Mailing? I will be working on collating the information and getting it back to you guys. I think. Other than that, we're good. Um, I was going to. Everybody got this with the copy of the mm -hmm. and then um, maybe 
was flowing. Job. Very good. Job and the grant was designated, uh, spent, and all worked out for that. We ended up spending, I think, two hundred and two hundred and sixty-five dollars or sixty-eight dollars and six two hundred and sixty. We had extra people come um, who paid their own way, yeah. and we set up times to pick up and. I left on the Friday the 23rd, or the whatever the that Friday was. There was only three or four people who had not picked up when I delivered. Three of the product? Yeah, the product. Yeah. Because we were trying to get them in time for mm -hmm. Christmas. Mm -hmm. So three, we'd given them like the Wednesday before. I forgot it. Was Friday. And then over the weekend, and then we did the Wednesday night before Christmas and the Friday night before Christmas. Oops. And then I, I was like, if you don't get it before Friday night and you don't talk to us, that's your last chance. But then Sue is to me, are you coming to get your card? I'm like, oh yeah. <coughs> um, I can send you the list. Um, Yesterday. Yeah. I'd say about 35. What was the feedback? Good. They enjoyed it. They would be willing to do it again. Um, there was only one family that emailed us that um, backed out and said they wouldn't do it if they had to pay. And um, there, the family that had the three-year-old that wanted to come to the glass thing ended up um, leaving the three-year-old at home with one parent and coming on Friday night to do pottery with the six-year-old. And they painted pottery. And... Um, so they enjoyed it too. I think we should, you know, good, it's good that we have feedback and we know what we have to do going forward. But I think that if we're going to sponsor something, it should be for the age group in which we have rec. Mm -hmm. You know, so a three year old being with older children, I, I didn't think that was the right thing to do. Yeah. You know, but right. it's a type of parents have um, wanted to recommend it too, you know. But um, so, um, how many were non because was it was it not clear on it that this is an offering for children so people who attended the rec program? It was probably clear depending on who read it. Because okay. I, I found it to be clear. Okay, yeah. okay. But, but there were a, there a were lot of people, people who weren't rec. Right. Yeah. right. So um, there were, we did 80% of each group was rec kids. Mm -hmm. um, and we had, I think, we paid for 16 on Sunday morning. And of those, um, 14 of them were rec kids. Mm -hmm. And we paid for 10 on Friday night. And of those, eight were rec kids. And then I took the top two names who had replied who were not rec kids from each group mm -hmm. and bumped them up to a free product. Mm -hmm. uh, to round out our funds. And so we actually didn't have enough of the red kids get back to us, right? That's what you're saying. So that's kind of been, that's kind of surprising for 25 slots. Like we had what, 100 kids in that red program? Mm -hmm. But that was also limiting them to one. Like a couple of the red kids ended up coming in and doing more. And um, uh, we had one red kid who showed up who didn't RSVP. And just showed up with cash. <laughs> well, they were cash. And they, <laughs> they were able to do it. Yeah. And then the parent came down. They, they showed up by themselves on Friday night with cash. They were able to do it. And the parent ended up coming down with the two younger siblings, a two-year-old and something else. And there was space for them to paint. So they got to stay and paint as long as the parent paid for all of them. Mm -hmm. um, and then... The majority of them were residents, and I do know that um, I'd say five or six of them I know were not residents off the top of my head, and two of them were camp kids that have moved since camp, that were residents when we did camp, but they've moved since. And so how did the non-residents find out? How did it get advertised? It was on Facebook. It was right? on Facebook. Yeah. What like what camp route? I mean, um, and your volunteer uh, and they have meetings and stuff. So there's people in there that were not residents of volunteers. 
and it got and it, it got shared to uh, the Camp Raleigh page. Yeah. Um, through Facebook, and so it went out there first, and then people shared it. Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I I looked at it and I could make it a private group or a private event, but only the people in the Camp Raleigh group would get it, and they can't share it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I made it a public event and then shared it. And then I guess, I, 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 I guess my only thing would be, and you probably did this, is that you know, you can put a non-resident who didn't attend camp on a wait list. As long you, I just wouldn't want them to pick a spot of a child who was in camp and who is a resident. Right. Over, you know. Yes. If you had limited space, that's And all. that's what ended up happening. Okay. I think, was it Friday? One of the two days, I ended up getting an email from two parents. We'd like to come. And so I responded, you need to answer these questions. Are you a resident? Did you participate in Camp Raleigh? What are the ages of your kids? Mm -hmm. And are you willing to pay for it? Mm -hmm. If, because we've run out of room. Mm -hmm. And I got the responses back, like they were eight and 10, I think, were the two parents that got back to me. One was from Summers Roof, one was from Rochester. They paid for their child's piece. Um, and then I talked to them at the event. How did you hear about this? Would, did your kids, would you be interested in going to like camp and stuff mm -hmm. like that? Would you be willing to hear more about our program? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, um, do you want, let's update on senior mailing. Mm -hmm. Do you want me to go in and talk about the one article or do you want to finish the agenda? Let's finish the agenda first. Okay. Um, so I wanted to talk about, oh, you wanted to talk about the Olympic Holiday. <laughs> Is that really my option? Because I, I had a different idea. <laughs> if you don't mind, you're putting it on the table. So I know that we talked about this Olympic Carnival thing that sort of hand in hand with our kickoff registration. Mm -hmm. So I thought maybe we can utilize the space somewhere, whether it be the library or somewhere, to have some sort of like a um, who's ready for summer. Um, Park's not like a party, but a, mm -hmm. a, uh, like a grand opening to camp or something. Mm -hmm. um, maybe around the time we want to release registration, so we have all our registration information. We do some sort of summer theme um, to get ready for summer. Um, we have maybe, oh, I don't know, just come up with ice cream social or something like mm -hmm. that. I, I don't really have that kind of framework already right. yet. Mm -hmm. But what I did think of is like instead of a carnival, because we are definitely shorthanded, mm -hmm. um, why don't we just do like a kickoff Registrations open mm -hmm. grand party or something. And well, like that idea. Idea. Maybe utilize the library and because I know that the back room um, mm -hmm. is open for events. Mm -hmm. We could talk to somebody and talk to someone at the library to help um, square that way. Mm -hmm. And so that just brings up the point of registration. Mm -hmm. So again, I was looking at deadlines and working back from that. So I'm thinking we shoot for March 2nd to be our grand release <laughs> and be ready for registrations. I know it's going to be a lot of work between now and then, but um, I think the sooner we get them out, the better. Especially if we're marketing to outside, mm -hmm. it's going to be a lot of work. Um, and so far, what are your feelings? Are we are we going with the sports engine? Are we sticking with them? I mean, it's a really great question. I have again. I've always had pros and cons about the sports engine, and in light of the fact that I'm trying to get. This tool is not a good um, resource for auditing either. There's a lot of manual workarounds, which has been very time consuming for me. Mm. It's not intuitive. So it, it really ruins um, getting accurate financial records because, um, for example, if I registered Chris for two weeks and then after the original registration, I say I want to add on two weeks, um, you can change your original registration, but it doesn't change the finances. So. Oh. Redundant. It's all separate. It's all a whole separate process. Mm -hmm. And even if you pull reports off, the reports aren't accurate. Mm -hmm. It the same goes for if I decided mm -hmm. that I'm not going to do pre camp. And we've approved that. So we did debate that in plenty of advance time after registration. Yeah. It's the same circumstance. Now all the reporting is off. So does would the reporting include the pre camp at that point? It does. Yeah. yeah. The so only way you can do it is manually. It 
when I say manually, it's running the report, and you have to go in and manipulate the report. Yeah, yeah. you said you finished the run and you didn't complete it. That's right. So yeah. that's why so that's right. it's been taking me a long time because there's little, there's little thing. I mean, we know that there was a good handful, or maybe more people that changed the registration backwards, right. and we said that was okay. Right. Mm -hmm. But everything had to be rebuilt. It wasn't intuitive enough for to refix installments. It just didn't do any of that. Mm -hmm. So it's caused. I'll be honest with you. When I entered every single registration the year before and the year before that, it was actually time consuming but better because I could manipulate everything I needed out of that without a problem. <coughs> there were audit reports like that. Right. I, no I certainly won't step up to be a day hearing for the third of you. So, I mean, I'm not, you know, if you, want, if you want to kind of. So here's the question Do we want to investigate at this point in time a new? Program for us, or is that too much? You, you know, mean the sports engine. Yeah, like a, yeah. Nothing about that kind of stuff. Well, nothing. The, the other thoughts that go along with the whole online process is people did it because it was convenient. Right. They could charge it, well, that's or they can do installments. Yeah. And I think a lot. You know, I looked at some of the records from Sports Engine, and a lot of people were doing that. It's with credit card. Right. And so I'm, I'm asking myself, did we get more this year? Be because we offered the credit, I can see yeah. somehow controlling the installments. I can manually. I can see that because we did it the year before. It was a little hectic, right? But that's when I brought brought it up to you this morning about the bookkeeper, right? Anyways, a whole separate whole separate issue and question. But um, to me, going back to paper isn't such a bad idea, but you also have to. I would hate to have to take away the whole installment, right? Process. Although it does need to be tightened up a little bit. Um, what does it take for to be able to take a credit card? That was another question I had. Um, I, I don't know. What, is, do, do we have to? I, I don't know how that works. Um, I think the year before or the year before that, we asked about that, and it's just something we, for whatever reason, didn't want to do. But now we have a. Does the rest of the thing? No, we gave up the baby. Right. It's, 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 I didn't know if it was something like Hang on one second. Fern, mm -hmm. do you know what it what it um, takes to have town to be able to take a credit card? <laughs> you mean have the town take credit cards? Yeah. A lot. Really? What do they have to is it a long process you, going to the bank to do that or you have to open a credit card account which is separate from the bank account. Okay. You have to have a processing thing, they charge you a fee to the, of the processor, they charge you a basic fee, then they charge you for each transaction, okay. and by the time you're done, it's, if we did like 150 transactions a week, it would be worth it, mm -hmm. but if we do five in a month, mm -hmm. it's not worth it. Is it different with a debit card, do you know? It's, it's just a different thing? network. It's, it's the same. It's the same kind process. of process. It's just, okay. Well, let you, let me tell you about something, Vernon. Right? Like, <laughs> I have this fantastic thing that I've been using with business. Um, it's called Venmo. Has anybody heard, heard, heard of Venmo? Yeah, I've heard of Venmo that. is awesome because um, so as a as a you know self employed person. I have set up my bank account with this Venmo. Um, I can be paid by that person has to also <laughs> set up a Venmo account, but it's, it's not that hard if I do it. <laughs> so, um, but what Venmo does is if you are using, if you link it to your own personal bank account, which I have, mm -hmm. um, if people pay me, so if I wanted to pay you for something, um, because it's linked to my bank account or a debit card, there is no fees 
charged to anybody. Mm -hmm. um, the only time there's a fee charged, you can link your credit card to it. So if I want to charge money, um, if I wanted to use my credit card to pay UC, mm -hmm. then I would have to pay 3% or whatever it is. Okay. But Venmo takes care of it and the receiver, like so if I'm getting money paid for my business and somebody wants to pay me with their credit card, that's on them. I don't get charged anything. So, so if the bill's a hundred dollars, you get the hundred dollars. Yes. They get three percent. Yes. They get charged a hundred and three on their credit card. Oh. So this is something the town should look into because the <laughs> town does not have to they they don't have to because that was something I never took a credit card in my business because mm -hmm. I was like I'm not right. you know I'm gonna I'm not gonna pay three percent every time somebody runs their credit card to me or I'm gonna have to charge them more right mm -hmm. but so in this case the only time you so I could pull money out of my you know savings account and pay it through my Venmo and not get charged anything mm -hmm. but if you're the receiver of this there is no charge V E N M O and N yeah, B E N, and I can tell you, doing we're doing um, a major fundraiser for our Marshwood um, softball team is going on a trip. They established a Venmo account for we sold tickets to the the Legion. Um, we did the whole thing down the Legion. They sold tickets through Venmo, so people could charge on their charge card if they want to. So is an is it a, a event space? Event space as well. Can you advertise an event? And I believe I I don't know. I don't know if I can you can advertise on it. I think it's um, just but you can establish an account like that's not. Yeah. So Eventbrite is like that. You can actually right. create an event and then get so an event would be right. like an account registration mm -hmm. and then get paid. But again, it all links to a bank account. So. <laughs> oh, that's probably in the mail. Yeah. yeah. So it, it has to go to an account. <laughs> He's not even answering that question. <laughs> no, we would have to. We'd have to open maybe open up an account. Right. So that's the only thing. Is if why? Okay. Now it just makes me step back and say why? Why do we have an account? I mean, why did it go away? Trust. Okay. Not well, us, but previous history. It was banks accounts that nobody knew about. And they were trying okay. to consolidate it and have it go through one. So I wonder in this case, you know, Denise, I wonder if we could like, you know, we're like throwing things out there, but like establish this account and then at the end of August, close it and, you know, transfer funds into, you know what I mean? Like well, have this account, have like a temporary account or whatever, because it doesn't cost you any money. You can do well, it, right? I have a if you have an account, that, if you set up an account and you have um, our treasurer's authorization to remove <laughs> the funds and transfer to where he needs them to be, why is that a no no? What? Your head shake. Oh, I mean, you know me did. <laughs> State the question again. I said if we set up an account for strictly for registration purposes and whatever we needed to do for yep. receiving money from people, and you are a person on the account that you could take the money out as and notify us clearly and move it to the town account it needs to go on it a regular basis. It would be a town account. Technically, but we would have to be able to have access as well. So okay. all okay. funds are in the custody of the country. I have a couple of I so, understand that. Okay, hold on, let me can I just say one more thing? But it's either someone it else has it us. or the treasurer has it. So okay. you can't have any mixed things. What about like the that? bookkeeper? Bookkeeper doesn't have access to the funds. No, she would not have access to the funds. No. Okay, no. He or she. Right. So I right. have a bunch of information, um, some from the town treasurer, that was found regarding the Warren article that the select board is considering, which they're having a public hearing on next Monday, I think. No, we're having a vote on. Well, there's not no. a public hearing. There's not a public hearing on the warrant for the rent. Um, no, that was Saturday. For the revolving fund for the rec? That was okay. Saturday. It's too late. Okay. I don't know. Well, yeah, we can talk about that afterwards. But, um, yeah, I, I, as far as I know, did Carolyn tell you you can do it? Well, there was talk last night about the public hearing for the recreation one, which oh. you guys have scheduled for January 21st. 
No, we're meeting to approve all foreign articles. But you have to have a public hearing, which we had a public hearing last weekend. Yes. That was the one and only time to talk about Warren. So I, I clearly missed that. Well, I guess I'm going to have to go back and look because I thought it was discussed this last night, but if it was going to. If it was discussed last night, they were going to do it on Monday? But we didn't talk about what was wrecked last night. I was in Florida. Did we talk about that last night? <laughs> a little bit. Oh, no, we only talked about sleep. During the oh, regular our, our, meet, our meeting? Yes. So, so can you guys bring me back up to speed? Because I was, at a, I was in Florida. Um, Saturday the 12th, which was the public meeting, was when we, we collectively needed to present to you or to the public this weren't article before, before the seven. It was very late in getting to us, and it didn't meet all the requirements that we felt it needed to be. It you have it, it's not easy to establish an account, and it was lacking purpose and um, what the other thing was, but it wasn't it wasn't as clean clean and. So the precise. one, so you're saying the one that I printed out from the state. No, I'm saying that. Caroline says the one that you had submitted wasn't clear enough on what the purpose was for it. And we at the select board meeting also had a disagreement of what the purpose was, you and I. Correct? I guess, yeah. So because it's not an understanding about what money is going to go into this fund is what we disagree on. Yes, and so I stuff I talked to Caroline yesterday and she was going to contact the talk to them about what monies were going to go into this fund. And I don't know if she had a chance to do that or not. I don't know. I don't know. But the Saturday, if, if it has any money, any monetary money involved, we can't do it. Saturday was it. But they were both, we have choice A and choice B, which were on the warrant. And my understanding from the meeting last night was that the select board needs to choose whether warrant choice A or choice B is going on the warrant article. <coughs> or is that completely mixed? I didn't hear that. Okay. You heard that at our meeting? I will go back and have the report. I didn't hear that we were gonna vote for this. Because Caroline told me if it has any kind of a mon monetary value. And it exceeds what was presented on last Saturday. They were both presented last Saturday. But it isn't what you want presented. It isn't what you want or you're proposing to go forward. B. It's not the same. A choice B was the one from the state, which and I... The choice A was from the Municipal Association. The choice A was a copy of the rec one, or the historical one that you asked about last well, year. Well, that came from the Municipal Association. Well, so being not around and kind of hearing what you guys, my thought is, and, and I know you did a lot of work to, to try and pull this together, and it's very much appreciated because I had nothing to do with it. We collectively, I think, as a group, aren't, aren't at that place of making money at this point, right? So, so maybe, maybe this is what we make sure that happens at this time, definitely for next year. Because it's gotta happen earlier. So oh, it's gonna happen, it should be worked on right after everything else is settled in the, in the fall. So we'll maybe, so maybe, okay. okay, so in the fall. Yeah. So this, so maybe this is something we need for our long-term agenda here, mm -hmm. is to make sure that this happens. Because it, my feeling is, right, we're, we're really, we'll be really happy this summer if we break even, right? right? I mean, that's kind of where we keep making these baby steps. So let's break even or maybe have a little bit, you know, to get to this place where we can throw in, you know. I mean, that's where, that's really where we're not addressing the, the correct information is, what is what is your intent for this fund? Because as I explained to Celia, the town puts this amount of money aside for you to have your program. Mm -hmm. And only, in our, in our opinion, only will money go in if all of our output has been reimbursed, and right. it would be only that. Profit, really profit. But if there isn't, and you had extended tuitions or whatever, you can't put anything 
something in the budget. I understand that. Well, that's okay. We were just disagreement <laughs> at one of our meetings that that wasn't clear. I understood Caroline to say last night, if this goes forward, the rec committee no longer has budget lines in the town budget. And is that what you want? Wait, okay, wait. So because the be, town can't fund something, right? So we're basically you're putting money a into a, set, a, a, a savings account, so to say. So, well, yeah, why? Well, because, because the town is, it, it, at this point, the, the town is expectation is they're going to neutral. Right, and I understand that. So, okay. So, so, okay, let's say, so just for, let's say, $30,000. And whatever our budget is, I don't know, sixty thousand dollars. We make sixty-five thousand. Mm -hmm. So the sixty thousand dollars goes back to the town. Only if you spent it. Right. If you only spent fifty-five. Right. That's all you have to. You only have to get back what okay. is out of the town. So project. let so let's say okay. So let's say we pay you back, but we make sixty-five thousand. Mm -hmm. So I think, and correct me if I'm wrong, but my idea is like that ten thousand would then go into this set aside for, I think what we're all trying to, what, what my vision is, right, is that when that playground stuff mm -hmm. starts to fail, mm -hmm. right, that, that we have $10,000 set aside now because we made over what we asked for. Is that, are we? Yeah, but that wasn't clear on oh, okay. any of the presentations. That was is similar. that is that where your brain cells were going? My brain, <laughs> similar. Yes. If we make back our money, right. we will have a profit. So right. Did it say that in the warrant? It, it says has to be as clear as day. Okay. To so know where the money's going. Because I would love to. I would love to have a fund to you know put a tennis court somewhere. You know. I mean. That, that, you know. That the article says there's an article that says we cannot build facilities, so we cannot build a tennis court. That has to come through the town's capital improvement plan. But with uh, that extra funds, we could pay a rec director. Or we could yes. buy something And then you can take something out else out of that yep. and not use it, not using it for the rec director, and you can use those funds for that. Okay. So the warrant from the <coughs> DAR, the people who approve the ballot, says to see if the town of Rollinsburg will establish a recreational well-being fund pursuant to the guidelines governing recreation, the money received from fees and charges for recreation, park services, and facilities shall be allowed to accumulate from year to year and should not be considered part of the general fund on the signed fund balance. The treasurer shall have custody of all the monies in the fund and shall pay it out the same only upon order of the select board. They, they wanted to put the select board so that it goes through the board and no further legislative body action is required, which means that once it's voted on by the town, it doesn't have to be voted on again. These funds may be expended only for recreation purposes as stated in RSA 35B, which governs um, recreation programs, and no expenditure shall be made in such a way to require the expenditure of other funds that have not been appropriated for this purpose. So it does not say the town cannot put money away for rec. It says only if they're budgeted for rent. But it the, doesn't say that the town, you get what's left in that budget line that the town is funding. I get that. Okay, it's not clear there. I know you get it. It's not clear there. So if the, if the town puts sixty thousand dollars in the budget and you only spend fifty, you're you're expecting the ten thousand to go in there. No, that's not clear. See what I'm saying? If, it if you, says. That the money received from fees and charges. That's not fees and charges. This is town. The town is saying that they're going to. The difference is in this whole thing is that the town will pay the difference on your behalf because you didn't make enough money. I get that part. Okay. However, on the flip side, the town is not going to. Isn't. They're going to pay whatever you don't come up with, but they're not going to want to put money in there unless it's under a warrant to put money in the fund as well. Do you understand what I'm saying? I'm say I hear you saying that the town is not willing to put money in that fund. On top of covering what you're not making right. summer wrap. Right. And I get that. 
And if we don't make money on Soma Rec, nothing goes in the fund. It remains zero. So think, this does not tell me, put money in the account. It says, whatever money we make goes into that account. But the expectation is that we, all the money that you make is going to offset what the town has already put in on your behalf. So I get, if we net a profit, <coughs> then that money goes in here. It doesn't say that. Does it say that? That's where I'm saying that's where the confusion is. Okay, and I had a confusion just on your example. So if if um, if our budget is sixty thousand mm -hmm. and we only spend fifty, mm -hmm. um, but we make an extra ten, does that make sense? But we make sixty, but we only spend fifty. So but our budget is sixty. So does that mean that ten thousand goes back to you, even though right now it does? Right now it does. Yep. But if we had the proper wording and the proper understanding of what this is, it could possibly go into your oh okay trust fund okay or whatever. You're so it could have said something it's, along the lines of if I'm not clear enough. So basically, so basically, a little bit about it. Nobody else. So basically, we we, it, we have to. What? It's just nervous tick. Oh. Uh, <laughs> if, so basically, it's like as if we make if we pay everything back that we have borrowed from mm -hmm. the town, mm -hmm. that conceivably mm -hmm. anything over that we can put into a revolving fund. Yeah, I don't know if it's a revolving fund or if it's the other type yeah. of fund that we had also proposed. It, there's two types, and that's so where this is we're rushing a project that we're not 100% right. sure, and I think that it is best interest for this group right. to understand what you truly want, what the town truly expects, and then go forward to it the next year. Right. Because I think we're rushing it. Yeah. I, and I, I think that's great. And I, and I know yeah. you worked very, very hard, and we appreciate your, your so, work, but I think we have to make sure, and, and like I said, I don't believe that we're going to, you know, we're, we'll be happy this year to, to be even, you know, we, it'd be nice to actually make a cut back some money, right? But, um, but if we but can, can but you know. remember though that money that if you make, if your money exceeds the direct department budget that's in the town, mm -hmm. it can be used for winter, mm -hmm. it can be used for senior um, within that year. Right. Year. Right. So, so that, yes. that another is another point of contention and confusion for me because when I saw Caroline yesterday, I said, so if we move forward with this, and I put on a senior meal based on the responses that come back, say mm -hmm. they want a senior meal, and everybody pitches in $3 for their meal. Can I put on a meal for $300 since there's $300 in the budget? And she goes, yes, but you can only put on one meal because there's only $300 in the budget for senior program. Yeah, but did she know that you had profit from Raleigh? Yes. She says you then can't. Then I'm going to talk to her because I'm confused by that because it's Rex's budget. And if REC has more money in there, well, they should be able to use their money for anything to do with REC. She said because the senior the budget might be, line the senior might be is like $300, I can only spend $300 throughout the year. So I can't put on a meal for more than $300, even if the seniors are paying for it and I earn back my money. Because the town is only allotted $300. Well, we share it, right? It's but, online, it's, but it's recreation is recreation. That's right. right. So I'm going right. to get I'll get some um, clarity on that. So I'm like, but if they pay me back <laughs> and I still have that three hundred dollars, why can't I do another one? That's basically what we do at camp. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm confused, but I will I will get a clear answer. So I have two other. Can I can I you give me whatever you have because I would like to look this stuff over because I did not have any time. I didn't either, and so I apologize because you did so, a lot of work. This is the one that's on the article is the one I just read. The town of Hampstead voted on it last year. I don't know if they approved it or not, but their wording is slightly different. Well, you know who else we should talk to is my, our, our buddy right. at Barrington. Oh. <laughs> Barrington has a revolving, like they buy, they buy these big humongous water slides for like $5,000. I mean, but it, I mean, if we're in agreement that we need to wait until yes, I, I, why are we going over this? Then now? Let's, let's not. Let's just, no, we gotta we'll table that. One. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I mean, table if this that. is the agreement, I, I, we should I, I, just yeah. work on it and then dedicate an entire night of right. Going and let's make sure we need more information. So tell me, as well. and let's and let's just make sure the time frame on this is set 
September? Is that, is that well, does this have to come? No, no, no. It just has to be done before uh, before the deliberative yeah. session. I mean, you have to have okay. public hearings on any warrant that has okay. money attached to it. Okay. We should probably still shoot the ball. Right? I mean, yes. they shoot the ball and be yeah. ready for it, and they just put it in the hands of the select board, and then... Okay. And if we go through a petition more article, which was offered to now, which was offered to me this year, mm -hmm. although it's too late, we may not have to go through the budget process because um, they told me if I got 25 signatures by um, Tuesday night at five, we wouldn't have to go because it was a petition for an article. It wouldn't have to go through the budget process. And I am hearing Why would you do that? What? Why would you do that? Yeah. I don't know. But <laughs> it doesn't. It doesn't. <laughs> I've heard other concerns and objections to it, like there was a petition warrant article that reduced the um, residence tax, tax to zero, yeah, yeah. And, it was, do it. Yeah. and it was brought up at the budget hearing that why isn't that not on the warrant, because it has to do with money. Because it's what, a petition, so it would have to do it, there's no choice. But it doesn't come across well with, when you get these petition articles. It, just try to do it right. It's so confusing. It. Yeah. But we don't have a choice. The select board doesn't have a choice. We have to put petition articles up. There's no choice. So that's what it is. All right, so we need to make this a goal for next year. Yeah, yeah not in the long term. Yes. Okay. This year, yeah. well, yeah. right. <laughs> so if, we'll but I want a tennis court. So, um. so, <laughs> so this all came from registration. Right, so this whole conversation. Yeah. And so we need to figure out if what we so we're back to registration. Right. So do we take them offline but still offer a semi installment um, option, which I still think can be managed. Let me. We cannot put that responsibility in the town hall, though. Well, That's that was one of my questions. So if there's a new bookkeeper, is does she or would she have availability to help? No, they still have to take the monies in, but they're not going to be sending notices out if you haven't paid your oh, installments. No. That's what I'm saying. We no. cannot. I mean, we still have to be the collector of yeah. the funds. That's for sure. This bookkeeper's going to need 20 hours, and yeah. that's going to that's going to need work. And and we don't even know if we have one yet. It's on the ballot. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a uh, vote. So when is the intention for the bookkeeper to also take care of what Caroline does, Caroline did as far yes. as the okay? Yes. So we would have a relationship with. The bookkeeper, as far as what Caroline had did, through so Caroline that doesn't not change. Don't get go through Caroline. Okay. She, the bookkeeper will talk to Caroline. Okay, but until we know what we have for budget, yeah, if it doesn't happen, that doesn't happen. Kelly, okay. what does Elliot do? They have a, a um, for their registration. Uh, let me look. At, like I know Barrington. So this is a thing, like there's so many programs out there. Like I just signed up my voice for lacrosse and it was online. Yeah. And I didn't pay any fee. Like, so like there's stuff out there. So I, I just charged it. I put it on my credit card. Was it on the town website? And it was on Marshwood Youth Lacrosse. Um yeah, I paid I paid no fee to use my credit card. But that was all up front too, it wasn't an installment right. option, which no. is what really all right. You know, dinged the parents. Mm -hmm. Well, it's a, it's a fee every time, right? When you get well, let's, let's, let, so let me, let me do, I don't know, do we want to go back to, do we want to go there and get out of sports engine and look for somebody else? And I think we need to get out of sports engine. It's just not okay. intuitive enough. It wasn't. Right. And it was, it was, it took a long time. Like yeah, with it, my five kids to, and to be registered, I was, well, I did a pretend one and then I made you. Well, I, mean, I wouldn't pay the fees. <laughs> yeah, well, it, it was. It was like thirty-five dollars in fees for me. Right, and I'm thinking that three percent fee you were talking about was nothing compared to how much the sports engine was charging. Yeah, they were charging. It also seemed very amazing. cumbersome, even the registration, from what I heard. Here yeah. Yes. yeah, yeah. So I don't know why yeah. other yeah. these other registrations. What Jody had to do with not being able. Yeah, that does a lot of work. And then it doesn't yeah. stand out to me. But in the end, yeah. it's better for us to be there. Um. Which is something simplified, but when we're yeah, but we're asking, was like, it was I think so it's so simple for me. It would have been easier if we would have just said sign up for the whole summer. If we were back to 
if you pay this for the whole summer, but we went by the week and we went in installments mm -hmm. and we just created a whole bunch of right. pumps. I can't see getting away from that this year because I think it was a good sell for us. Once you did it and people right. didn't expect to do that and I think it might have drawn in people more by I not having too. to pay up front the whole entire month. I do too. Okay. So it's either we try to control it behind the scenes mm -hmm. and go back to paper or we find another alternative that's not going to charge to kill people on arm and a leg. So, so let's so and that uh, yeah. can handle everything we're asking it to do. Right. There might be some. I have. I'm guilty of not looking into it that much, but um, there might be some camp software mm -hmm. out there that people mm -hmm. already use. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. Well, and maybe so. Maybe that would be that put in my phone call to Barrington and ask them kind of. A, couple questions about their registration because I know they do their registration online. And does she and do, what, well she's got kind of um, a lot of options I'll ask, too. I can ask Heather too. I think. Heather. About Elliot because I think all their stuff is you know, online. I think the difference between them though too is they're available all the time. They right. take up full time staff. Right. I mean and they have a place. Right. That's, that's another difference you know. Right. I think um, that's what makes a big I think either we really put our noses down and figure out what we're going to do about registrations quickly and go with it, <laughs> just get it done with. Yeah. Um, so I have a question for you. This kickoff event, what money are you using? Are you using the Metro Vets money that we're going to use for Winter Carnival? Or are you not? Well, that's it? gone. 18 is gone, so this would be what you would use. And I, I still think we need to do a Winter Carnival. I think that we need to really kind of do something with that um, this year. So, um, but you could use Raleigh. Okay. <coughs> How much do we have available right yeah, now? The budget. Well, it's only what you budget. It's the new budget. Right. Oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> but I was thinking if you want to do a kick off of that, why can't you do um, the one the carnival March 2nd? That's a lot of work. It's a lot of work to do it right, and you know I think it was a great idea, and I think we should. I think we absolutely should do it, and you know, but this is a really sticky time for mm -hmm. meetings and, and uh, stuff for you know the budget and all that. So when you say, I know I'm not going to have time. When you say do it, do you mean maybe um, next fall or this time next year? A winter carnival? Yeah. Yeah, like like maybe December or or. Yeah, I find December hard because there's so much other stuff going yeah, on. Yeah, or January. You know, but you can pay it everything through whatever we need to pay it through before January, before January, one. January one. Right. You know, right. And, and have it in January. You know. That's a good idea. Um, but I think we should do something. You mm -hmm. know, and, and we can. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of stuff we can do that isn't going to cost you anything, like a bonfire or something with the fire department. Maybe get police and fire and highway all involved. Or this, this part of the year. Yeah. So I can work on, um, I can work on the um, March 2nd event if somebody wants to go home. Huh? Yeah. No? What's our March 2nd event? <laughs> That's our kickoff. That's kick -off oh, 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 you're saying that is the kickoff? What day yeah. is that? Is that a it's Saturday? a Saturday. I just need to put some context around it, figure out how we're going to do this. Um, so by then, would you do? Would you are you thinking more of the library? But then, so if it's a small group, it's a small. I don't know if you could use the school. Well, I, I know I know we've used the Ethan in the past for ice oh, cream right. socials. Right. I don't know if that was did they if we had to pay for that. I I would doubt it. That's what they. What about the? Is there going to be a, is there going to be a penny sale or something this year with the PTO it, or it was or? tabled at our last meeting? What the PTO does have set up is January thirty first. They're doing an astronomy or a game night depending on the weather, and mm -hmm. February thirteenth is the backup date. So if it's a cloudy night or too cold, the February thirteenth will be astronomy. If the game night happens January 31st. If it doesn't happen January 31st, 
then there may be two game nights in a row. Okay. So there's no. And that's at the pool. That was like usually we get. That might be something that you guys might want to think about in the summer. And then March. Like what? To have the social at the. No, to have this astronomy night. Uh, yeah. 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 Astronomy. Astronomy. New Hampshire Astrological Society. They'll Astronomy. come and do it for free. And who, who's doing it? Um, who's the First point person for that? What's Lauren's last name? I don't know. No. Um, I it's was a newer family in town, and he was somewhere. Um, I don't really remember this, so he heard people talking about it and asked questions or that this guy did it. Mm -hmm. So he has a contact that he has been emailing back and forth. Is that someone in Durham? I don't know. But, but his contact was Paul something. And it's, we, my family is a big whip because they do a, once a month at the um, planetarium in Concord. Mm -hmm. um, but the New Hampshire Astrological provides a ton of free stuff. They have these programs that they come. And Deb Nichols actually was the one that had um, suggested it to PTO. And then we took it on and I think that's a great idea. And then um, they also donate telescopes for free to uh -huh. the town library. And we're one of the few towns that doesn't have one that we could get a telescope and they could loan it out to people. Mm. I mean, Dover has two or three of them. And, um, I was talking to a librarian from Lee, and she just got one. Huh. So I wonder if we contact them, if we can get a telescope for the rent or for the library. That's awesome. Um, yeah, yeah, that's a great idea. That's something so different that we haven't had here in town, but I think that's a wonderful idea. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. Uh, Kelly, how about you and I work on like the exhibition thing? You know, just pulling all these down and figure out an alternative. It's not going to cost a lot, but it's yeah. got to be intuitive. We've got to get reporting out of it. Yeah. We've got to make sure that. Whatever we originally put in there can be changed, and it can be smart enough to change installments or right. anything like that. You know, mm -hmm. it's just got to be smart. <laughs> and it's got to handle all the stuff that we ask it to do. You know, right? Craziness. That's what you ask Barrington. <laughs> Barrington. Mm -hmm. So March second, you're looking for a location, right? Okay. Um, how many people do you think? I mean, that's the thing is you're worried about people. I'll invite everybody who came last year. We've got all the email addresses yeah. and yeah. all that stuff um, publicly um, advertise it. To schools, schools. The flyers. Yeah. Um, oh, here, yeah, too. All right. Well, do here? Yeah, because one of the key things, I mean, the idea is for them to come 
and uh, filter through and yeah, filter through and I think it's a great idea. We just have to figure out how to do it without charging people. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So don't yeah, don't ask me to be that magician anymore. <laughs> oh, what was the guy who helped us? The magic Fred? Fred? What was his name? Fred. Oh, okay. Because you didn't I, like him? It wasn't me. I, I didn't mind him at all. He's a little messy. There were some parents in the didn't like him. Yeah, little girl. I really liked. Him. <laughs> Like He's really for the kids, though. Not for the parents. Yeah. Okay, we well, do like a cooking class, or pay, ask them down at home where they can come and just look at them and show some of these. Like yeah, demos for the parents or something. Well, we did um, years ago. I, I think kids are probably too little now for the kids. Um, the school did an enrichment PTA. Oh, it was PTO who did it. They did an enrichment program. My son worked at the enrichment program when he was in school. Did he? Yeah. And. Um, Small fit, um, cake factory. Yeah, oh, he baked cakes yeah. and brought brought them in, mm -hmm. and we paid because it's easier. Mm -hmm. And then he taught the kids how to decorate, mostly mm -hmm. with cups of candy. But there was that, you know, and there were um, Bill Hassett one year did some fishing down mm -hmm. at the beaches. Um, UNH the cows, mm -hmm. White Houses would come with their cows. Oh, that's right, the cheap. and information an information day about what the wreck is about and we used to do a spring fling just gonna say spring fling at Trevor Gold when we lived in New York and they um, of course that was the PTO so they had like mm -hmm. but it was games and mm -hmm. that kinds of things mm -hmm. that I can come up with. Um, I'm not very clever. <laughs> I rely on the internet. In <laughs> interest. Yeah. Um, okay, so I'll, I'll put some um, contacts on that. I'll send out an email. Are you ready? 
making the second Stella? What are you thinking? I don't know. I don't know if I want it to be this huge thing or just keep it mid-sized or I don't know. They said they would like to be more visible, but it's a right now they're giving to us because it makes them feel good. Yeah. So what is well, it, so what is it that we can do? Like what is, in terms of visibility, do they want? Well, isn't well, it on, on the back shirts. of their shirt? Right. What else do they want? Is they, it on the back of their shirt? Like that every trip they go, yeah. they have it on the back of it. Do they know that? Yes. Do they want to be? But they're they're them. probably sponsored by C and J. Is that what they want to do? They or want a banner or something that okay. says. They want to be recognized in our annual report and okay. or whatever. Oh, well, you someone needs to do that. Who, who did that it? last year? I printed it off. I said email that came from Caroline. Yeah, I talked to her about it today. Deadline, so. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, did but you do I mean, that last year? Yep. Okay. Are you still? I mean, they do have. They're they supposed to wear them on all I of their trips, trips, right? So I mean, they are having visibility. Right. They probably would like a. Well, I, I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with having a banner made. You can get them pretty reasonable, you know. I'm, but I'm just thinking we need to get it done earlier this year. We had a banner made last year for Newberry Savings Bank. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it ever got put up for what they sponsored, um, the science thing. So maybe 
maybe when we, uh, well, we should really solidify what we're going to do because when we solicit them again, this is what we're going to do to them as far as feasibility. But, I mean, you get donations from other businesses as well, right? So, mm -hmm. I, you know, if we had a banner up that lists all of them, isn't that acceptable? I mean, if you start doing one, you have to start doing them all, I think. Yeah. If you're going to do something public like that. Maybe you know? have, like, C and J be, like, bigger. Oh, but, oh, but yeah. Oh, yeah. absolutely. And, and then, then the top and the other the other sponsors. Sponsors. Yeah. yeah. I think it's a big change. Yeah. That's what I was yeah. actually thinking. Yeah. That's what, um, yeah, that's what we did. And um, I know it's from what I did last year, it takes a week to get an indoor-outdoor banner. Where do you get I, I got a better bad um, I got mine to, oh my goodness, what was the other one? Got it. Vista Poster or something like that? Or no, online it was one of them. Yeah, it was online. They were really reasonable, and they were cheaper than Staples. Um, I'll just let you know. It's the ones I hung up, I tied ones under the pool and looked down the Legion and the tra uh, transfer station. So I think sponsorships, I mean, we're going to talk about that next meeting, but uh, um, we could always ask, um, I know you and Kathy did it, you know, and we can all like even collectively do it, but we can always ask high school students too to come in and put letters and envelopes, and I, my own kids would enjoy it. Mm -hmm. That's a, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. a good idea. Yeah, I've been living and talking to managers just because I find that some of the places they get better response than basically face to face when they can mail it. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and like a couple of the places are like, well, we can't do anything for you here. We have to send it up the chain. Yeah, a lot of your big business. You know, yeah, yeah, but it's not good. Well, it's certainly not banks in Dover now. No, come on. Yeah, seriously. I don't really understand that. But for <laughs> the so next meeting, I'll just put on there to talk about sponsorships. Are you going to invite um, Heather? Yes. I do want to do that. Do you think we? I I think you all had enough questions for her that I think it's really important for her to answer. Okay. I just want to make sure because we're we're like right in the thick of things. Well, I think we should give her. But we should time. give her either the first thirty minutes, yep. you know, or the last thirty. Sure. So give her the, the first, 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 first thirty. Because right. Then she can go and we can right. explain that. But I think that she. I think she would come and give us as much time as she wants. Yeah. You know. It yeah, she's nice great. Awesome. Well, you said she actually. Um, she does online registrations, right? Right. So I'm gonna look that. I'm gonna look that up. I might even reach out to her and just say who you guys use. Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna. Yeah. Go home and just see if I can find a couple of companies. Just okay. trying to think. I just signed up for the Marshall Views Lacrosse. It was so easy. It was so yeah, easy. Chris won't. Chris doesn't want to do lacrosse. It doesn't bother him. He doesn't. No. I really want him to. Well, I, I read to one of them the other day. <laughs> I said, are you doing lacrosse? And he's like, did I miss it? And I'm like, no, I don't know anything about it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so you, okay, so you and I are going to get together about registrations. Yeah. We'll connect. Um, within a couple of days, I'll figure out some contacts around this spring fling, whatever we're going to do to kick off. I need to work on registration packets. I know that. Um, you've got a responsibility for talking to Rich. He needs to be told. You know, I can send all this out. Mm -hmm. I need, like, we've got a lot of, I got a lot of red here, so why don't I just type it up and I'll send it mm -hmm. out maybe like I did the last time. I think there's quite a few. We're all kind of all over the board right now. When do you think is a good time to start soliciting soon, Jen? In February? So maybe we have a few more later. Okay. And actually, I need to be working on grants <laughs> starting now so that we will know because they usually run January through March and then April through June. Um, so, and like I talked to a couple other people branched out last year and like the grocery store DJs and stuff like that. They will donate goods mm -hmm. and then go with it. They need 60 days notice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, if we can get a letter set up for February, mm -hmm. then I can get it out February, March, and then we'll know. Sponsorship letters? Sponsorship mm -hmm. or donation letters. Mm -hmm. and even if it's just updating what we had from last year. Now, do you have to do those online or do you send letters? Because I know that a lot of them are online. Um, like, like your Hannaford's and your uh, Shaw's and your Marsh Baskets and all of those are online. I usually just go in and talk to the manager. 
but they can't, I, a lot of them can't give you anything that has such a score, but Cumberland Farms is online too. Cumberland Farms online last year, uh, they gave it to me. Um, they're online, but Hannaford's and Charles usually I don't get in touch with the manager. And they can give you a small, a small, and some, most of the time it's a, a goods, not of cash, right? Um, or gift cards maybe? Gift cards, yeah. So usually yeah. Hannaford's donated $50 gift cards the last two years. Mm -hmm. Shaw's didn't do it the first year because they had to send it. And then um, off the ladder, and last year they did a $25 gift mm -hmm. card to us. Um, BJ's, you drop it off. Um, well, Janito's, mm -hmm. usually I go and I talk to their yeah. area, somebody there. Mm -hmm. um, but um, Shaw's, one of their things is that um, they um, they would like an employee to be involved with your program so that they can discuss with their employee whether or not it's a good organization to donate to. Yeah. Who is it? Shaw's Star Market. They they want they want to know an employee who has contact with your program. So if you know somebody who works at Shaw's, they they'll have they'll you know, submit that name. They talk to the manager, who then talks to that person, and then they get back to the manager, who gives them a yay or nay, whether it's a good program. And um, last year, Market Basket, I sent them, I dropped it off in Summersworth, and they sent it to corporate, mm -hmm. but we never heard back from them. <laughs> but I did hear they gave a nice donation to um, the police department as well. They did a lot of they did all the shopping there too. So that and that was like mm -hmm. all donated goods. Mm -hmm. And so the suggestion given to me yesterday was if I want to do a dinner or something, go to some of these places. Mm -hmm. Walmart, if you want less than five hundred dollars, you can go in and talk to the store manager. Mm -hmm. If you want more than five hundred, you have to you do it online. You have to do a grant application, which we discovered last year we don't apply to. We don't we'll know any of their grant categories. Um, can you set next meeting? Mm -hmm. So I was looking at my calendar real quick. What about February, Tuesday, February 12th? Um, well, she, you know, email me that one. So you want to go with that? I don't know. I'm kind of afraid. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to. Do you want to go what, what, from last week or so? I can't do the fifth. Oh, okay. And it's the fifth is the school board meeting to oh. look, talk about the deliberative session. So okay. they're going to just have to put on their ballot. <coughs> no, that's it. that's is that their um the the fifth deliberative the fifth is it their no day or no yeah, they're going the ninth I think the ninth okay yeah, because they have to give it on Tuesday they have something on Tuesday I'm um, usually open on Tuesday what about anybody open Thursday the seventh are you open seventh Thursday Thursday the seventh yeah I guess I don't know um Tuesdays are usually my good night Tuesday um, Monday and Wednesdays are not. So then we were looking at you January. Said seven? Uh, yeah, it's a Thursday. All right. Well, should we pencil it in? Let's pencil it in. All right. At six? Yes. Okay. So it's seven instead of the twelfth at this point. When I get my dates, I'll get this bad all the time. Okay. Yes. <laughs> oh, let's do a motion to adjourn. Oh, sorry. Motion to adjourn. Second. 